Hello and welcome to Game Osu semi-finals. Today we're uh, casting a pretty hyped up match. Vaxi versus Chokomit. I'm Azer. I'm joined today by Aproxa and Kano. How are you guys doing? What's up? How's it going, Kano? Yeah, not too bad. Doing pretty good. Feeling a little bit tired, but I'm looking forward to this match. How are you guys doing? I'm also very tired. I'm doing good. I'm also hyped up for this. As are several thousand people are, are hyped up for this. This is uh, one of the uh, probably the biggest 1v1 match of the year, like on paper, right? Like just from all the hype that's behind both of these players, all the history. Should be a really good one. Yeah, yeah. definitely a match that a lot of people are looking forward to. As you said, uh, they will be getting into it very soon. Yeah, this is quite a showdown between these two players. I mean, this is the best of the best, and like, I was talking about it before off, off stream about how we're not really going to be able to say much about these players' weaknesses because there isn't really any. It's more about the strengths and what they're going to be good at, but I mean, hopefully we expect really good performances from both. We obviously know that Cookies has been in a little bit of a slump today and also been dealing with some hand troubles, but hopefully it may pick up and we can see some solid performances from both of them. Yeah, I think no, uh, most notably, I think this is... Somehow a semi-finals match? <laughs> like, this is something that a lot of people would expect to be grand finals, right? Or something close to that, yeah. but... Without a doubt. With how stacked the entire tournament has been, it's kind of not of a surprise. Mm -hmm. We have, uh... Idki, Idki losing to Wubble Wolf on the other side of the bracket, so uh, a lot of scary, scary matches going. Yeah, Wolf actually will be playing in about 12 hours or so, or something like that. Tomorrow, it's tomorrow for me. He's playing tomorrow. Uh, yep. He's playing against Digital Hypno, I believe, is the other match in the winners bracket. That's correct. Uh, Wolf has been looking very really scary, so uh, I don't know how Abib's going to hold up considering what Wolf is on right now, but, you know, we'll see that match tomorrow. That was interesting to watch him because he's either, like, the best player out there or, like, the worst, <laughs> and he just doesn't care. Yeah, Wolf, <laughs> like, Wolf is so, he's, he's so random. He, yeah, just, you know, sometimes he shows up and sometimes he just doesn't show up for uh, groups. So. For, some, for someone as casual as Wolf, man, like, I'm just amazed that he maintains his skill in this game. Like, he is just the most casual player I have ever seen. Like, he can take, like, a month-long break or more, come back, and he'll still just shred. It's, it's just unbelievable, like, how consistent he can be, whether it's been six months or whether it's been, you know, a couple days. It's like, it doesn't matter to him. It's just, he comes back and just absolutely shreds everything. I think it's something... I've personally come to appreciate like the longer I've played is like how the how does he stay that good all the time like it's insane but yeah that's the match for tomorrow so Vaxi and Chocomint or Chikator or Kukizi whichever you prefer it's kind of hard to keep track of all these name changes yeah we're probably gonna say all three at some point during this stream I wouldn't be surprised if it won though. We're saying Shigator, and then it's Cookie Easy, and then it's Chuck and Mint. Yeah, <laughs> Don't forget Nathan, Nathan on Osu. Yeah. Yep, Nathan yeah. on Osu, of course. <laughs> so, uh, even though these guys are good at everything, uh, how do you guys feel about the picks and bans? What is going to happen here? I think at this point, it's somewhat predictable, but kind of not like. It depends on how serious Cookies wants to take it. We might see a rolled ban, but if we don't see a rolled ban, I could probably see some sort of 10.3 being banned against Vaxe, and probably the complete opposite of Vaxe banning against Cookies, going with one of the lower approach rate maps. What do you guys think? Yeah, uh, pretty much Vaxe, that. <laughs> pretty much Vaxe, that. <laughs> Vaxe has told me that he's mind blocked on Tabby Two Fairy, so he might actually be banning that one. I think even if he wasn't, that's probably the one ban I'm looking at for him. Yeah, for sure. To uh, be fair, though, I wouldn't be surprised if a mind block exists on Ultramarine as well. That map is also another really tricky map which has been seen in a lot of tournaments, and 
I wouldn't be surprised if players have developed some sort of mind block on some of the parts of that. He does have a leaderboard S rank on that map, actually. Uh, but it is. It does have a lot of dense patterns, so. Very mind blockable. Alright, so we are getting into the picks and bans, and we're getting Shigatora banning second. Oh, wait. Maybe a bit of confusion. Get that sorted out, surely. I mean, here we are talking about bands, though. What are we thinking the first pick is going to be from these guys? Do you think there's going to be I any tell you, map in particular? I can tell you there's a high chance of one being random. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Uh, for the other one, though, I don't know. I would probably see... I think typically it starts with no mod. I'm not wrong. Vaxi, that is. Yeah, Vaxi uh, is known to be very comfortable more on no mod. Uh, he told me, actually, that that's his favorite mod to play in tournaments. And that Hard Rock is his least favorite to play. But I have a feeling he might be trying to pick high AR maps, knowing that Shige does not like them very much. So it looks like she's actually going to be banning first, and he is uh, indeed rolling for the ban. You could have seen this coming. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard rock for gone. Yeah, that is uh, the 6.5 map. Uh, has a bunch of slider streams and cut streams. And there's Tabi Fairy as well for Baxi. Many people familiar with that map. Low approach rate, very slow, uh, very tricky pattern. Another old ban, and we can see Etha leaving the pool. That is a very slider heavy aim map. I kind of wonder what Vex is going to go for. Maybe probably Ultramarine or Kimi, or I guess not. Nah, he's going to go for. What? That actually is a pretty smart ban, I feel like. That map is really tricky. Yeah, that's like one of those crazy alt maps. To be fair, I thought that would be one of the maps which he would excel on, but I mean, against an opponent like Shigatora, you never know, man. Probably want to play as safe as you possibly can, especially if you're not feeling comfortable on it. DT1 actually going to be the first pick, which is what I would say is the hardest map in the pool. It is a DT tech map, uh, has nowhere close to an FC on the leaderboard, uh, so this will be an interesting one. Not to mention it is 10.3 as well, which is something that we were expecting from Vaxa early. Yeah, abusing that high approach rate while he can. So it shouldn't be too long before we get into the first map of the game Osu semi-finals. What are we thinking for this map, guys? Vaxi. <laughs> <laughs> Vaxi. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, I think, here. Yeah. Uh, we did say at the beginning that neither of these players really have any weaknesses, but if you, like, absolutely had to name one, even though it's not really a weakness, it's, like, the thing he's less good at, uh, then this type of map fits that w one quote in, qu you know, weakness in quotations for Kakizi, right? So... Yeah, I mean, it, it, whether you call it weakness or maybe just a thing that he doesn't enjoy. Oh, and we see a first first note miss from Cookiezy, but hopefully he'll get his feet back on track. Ooh, we're also seeing some uh, extremely low ack on this one. And this is just the intro of the map, so... Once we get past this part, let's see what goes down. Here we go, getting into the high BPM section. Lots of technical patterns, and uh, Shige is not having it with this map. No, not at all. Yeah, so I mean, if, 
If there's one thing that I've seen Shige miss on in a lot of tournaments in the past, it's been buzz sliders, but yeah, I don't really think he's enjoying himself on this map at all. I mean, it could be that thing I mentioned earlier about the, the pain that he's been dealing with and just also the lack of motivation. I think if there's one map it's going to affect him on, it's probably something like this. Like, this is really fast. Yeah, I mean, we see a miss from Vaxxay coming out there as well. He's even been struggling with this as well. So you can really tell how hard this map is. Yeah, it looks like Vaxxay might not even break 500k. That just shows how hard this map is. But this point will most certainly be going to him. <laughs> oh, hold on, there's a chance of comeback. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of notes left. Vaxxay could fit. No, fail scores count. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Azer, this is 2019, man. We use no fail, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So that is a oh. pretty one-sided. If uh, there's one word to describe this, it's a very uh, one-sided first pick for Vaxi there. That's a pretty and, cool uh, uh, rank that he achieved. <laughs> I don't know if you all saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't get to see that one often. Oh, and he just rolled the other 10.3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's, it's not looking good. Oh, no. RNG is not in his favor right now. Yeah, one would say that rolling your picks might not be the best strategy. Though he is top six, sometimes, uh, you know, it doesn't really work out. I mean, to be fair, he is eliminating some of Vaxay's high, highly contested picks. That is true. So the less of them that he has to deal with, the easier that this match should hopefully get for him, but I'll have to see how things pan out. Now, uh, this 10.3 is actually a lot more generic. Um, not as hard as the last one, but we'll see how it plays out. He seems to be struggling again, though. Not looking good. And the uh, pretty one-sided pick. I mean, to be fair, Kukizi does have some combo going at the moment. I don't want to curse anything, of course. I am guilty of that, but... I think he's doing the thing where he's trying to in uh, intentionally get low act, but like still FC. Remember I mean, how people would do that on like... Uh, yeah, where people would do that on like... A perfect um, freeze? Perfect freeze, yeah. Perfect where you'd like freeze. turn your offset so that you're... Perfect time hits were actually like 50s or 100s. We feel we'll try to get like perfect 33% FCs. Yeah. Plus... Good old days, man. The Vax actually still holding on to a full combo with like 99.6. Yeah, what is that accuracy, stuff. by the way? Can we talk about that? Yeah, let's <laughs> talk about that accuracy. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that regardless of how Kikizi would be playing this pick, I don't think it would change the outcome with how Vexy is playing. Yeah. Yeah, his act is definitely on point for this one. I mean, it is something that suits his skill set a lot more, for sure. But to be fair, almost everything kind of does in this pool. The real question is, are we going to see him full combo this? With over 99.5. Looks like he wants to do it. No problem for Vaxi right there. 500. 99.5, wow. What? Great act. I wonder if uh, Vax is going to continue to pick DT here, or he's going to go for maybe a Nomad that he's comfortable 
But if I had to guess, if he, if he really wants to win here, he's gonna go DT3. Considering it is, uh, I think it's, I think it's above the air attack. Dreams, glorious crown. Oh. This is actually going to be an interesting one because this isn't going to involve as much like snap aim, I guess. So maybe Cookie Z might have a better time on this. Yeah, this is a bit of a stamina map, but also has an extremely hard one third section uh, in the middle of the map, which is very prone to breaking. Yeah, without a doubt, you already know that Vexa is definitely in practice that section. Mm -hmm. And I do believe this map was actually in um, Corsese a year ago, so Chike should be familiar with this one. Well, at least there's a significant improvement to his accuracy so far compared to the other two picks that were uh, that we've seen. So now that the 10.3s are out of the way, we actually have a match on our hands. <laughs> at least it looks like. I mean, I told you, we eliminate the two highly contested picks from Vaxe. And now the match begins. That yeah, was the plan all along. Kano the mastermind. <laughs> See, this is where the roll strategy actually does come in handy. It's all a mind game. <laughs> it just gonna happen to roll exactly uh, what you need to roll for your strategy to work. I mean, every time I always talk about people practicing their rolls in multi lobbies, you gotta get on that. Hey, we actually have cookies here. Takes yeah. the lead, which is nice to see, honestly. That's really nice to see. Yeah, for the first time this match. Also, the first time this match he's had an act above 90%. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll see if they both actually handle this one third section well, because I think if there's any breaks that are going to have to, it's probably right. We should be approaching the one-third section after the next break hits, I believe. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see if both players can hit that. Vex actually takes back the lead, even though their accuracy is tied right now, but... A small, like, 5k advantage to Vex right now. Nope. Back on the other side, it's pretty much dead even at this point. Yeah, we're actually... it looks like we're gonna have an act battle here. Yeah. This is extremely close between these two players. We're going to have to see what happens on the one-third section coming up. As you mentioned, it, it is after the next break, I believe. So here's where it happens. To come up. This, this is where we're most likely going to see misses or potentially even act drops, maybe both. Ooh, Vaxi's act has actually dropped quite a bit. Uh, Shige's up ahead. Oh, as I say that, he, he lowers down too, but we're in the one-third section. Both players still hitting it. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of really, really close calls here. Oh, she is dropping But they both get through it. Ooh. They both Oh, well, the point difference is like less than it. That's a little bit over a thousand. This is going to be so close. Oh, she oh, dropping she... a couple 100s there. Takes it back to Vaxe. Now they're even in accuracy, but it's still in favor of Vaxe just because of the position of the 100s, as well as maybe a few slider ends dropped. This is going to be so ridiculously close. It's going to come down to accuracy at the end, most likely, unless we see some sort of random miss occur. Both of these players look fairly comfortable on these streams, so there should be no issue. Yeah, he's been dropping a little bit more 100s, though, so Vaxe does have the tiniest of leads. That's all it's going to come down to. Only about 10,000 right now, but only a couple of hundreds can actually turn it back around. But as we get closer to the end of the map, I don't think it's going to happen. It. Unless he misses right at the end. 
Spin bell. Last stream. Oh, that's Ooh, it. Oh, last stream. Backside takes that by a thousand points. That was ridiculous. Cookies was trailing by four one hundreds. And a dropped slider and... What an unbelievably close map between those two players, though. It was flickering back and forth for the entire thing. Both players managing to get through that one third section as well. That was unbelievable. Yeah, this Fantastic. is more... This is more the caliber of, of play that I think that everyone expected to see. I think that's why there's so many people here. Yeah, just get rid of 10.3s, man. Now now we we got the real match going. Hopefully. Yeah, that'll be good. Maxon just starts with a two-point lead. The, the first two maps just didn't happen. Yep. All good. <laughs> All right, we're seeing some hard rock. Jaku Soko no ow. Uh, this is a speed aim hard rock. Pretty generic. Not much to say. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad roll, especially if Kizzy is struggling with some pain in his aim hand. Seeing as this is very heavily focused on some sort of speed aim. A lot of snaps, I'm guessing. I think it depends how... Uh... How is AR 10s doing compared to his 10.3s uh, we saw earlier? If his AR 10s doing okay, uh, he might be able to get this one. Yeah, I think this is one of those maps where I don't think they really favor either play. This is like the off skill sets for both of these guys, I would say. A maps are generally a toss up when you get to this skill caliber. So, definitely unpredictable one. Here we go. So, first hard rock we're seeing, I believe. It's actually quite fast for just a map without DT. This clocks at 240 BPM, so. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this map, as well as Nomad 1, both uh, very high BPM aim maps, so no real low BPM cross screen maps. It's more of a bunch of shorter jumps with a higher BPM. Oh! Oh, something happened to TJ <laughs> there. Uh-huh. Maybe having a tablet issue? Not sure. Maybe hand troubles like Kano said earlier. Yeah, he is personally dealing with some hand issues right now. Yeah, as I mentioned, I was, I was afraid that this would be a bit of a bad roll, especially if he's dealing with some trouble. Like, the last map was fine due to the fact that it was like mostly like streams and flow aim and whatnot, but this kind of stuff, you have to snap and it's it's going to hurt your wrist or even your fingers, depending on what it is that you're dealing with. But it's unfortunate that we have to see it like this. But on another note, Vaxe is doing Vaxe things. <laughs> Quietly just chilling there in the uh, the left side of the screen. Pretty much holding a full combo on almost every map, I believe. I think it was only the first one that we saw uh, a miss from him. Yeah, he's doing a very good job at reminding us why he's here. Reminding us why he won the last game of as well. Yeah, Vex, I go on money mode right now. <laughs> when there's a prize pool, you know, he shows up. Mm -hmm. You can literally just see the dollar signs in his eyes reflecting off of his monitor. Mm. 
Mr. Krabs Reddit memes are very accurate. But uh, Vaxe, three fourths of the way in, still holding on to a full combo once again with 99% again. Honestly, some very crazy scores from him tonight. Or this morning, depending on where you are. And now we get into another intense section. Is Maxa gonna hold on and full combo this? I think based on how the maps have been going, the safe assumption that he will. It's so insane. How people how are you? How is actually so consistent at like everything? So like mesmerizing. I think this pool is yeah. like hard enough where there's like it, I would say maybe like two or three people that could like play everything comfortably. I feel like and like casually FC everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this one thing being good at the game, but being consistently good at the game is a completely different story, and he's just showing up right now. Yet another full combo coming in from Vaxe. That's three now out of four maps. And a nice accuracy out of Kukizi. So we'll see what Vaxi goes for next. There's still two DTs open. Mm, Vaxi actually gonna go for a map very identical to this. So the one they just played, uh, Nomad 1, which I believe is 240 BPM. Snappy aim. At AR 9.8 as well, so pretty high. This map might also make Shige's wrist hurt even more, so pretty unfortunate stuff. We'll see how it goes. I would at least like to see Cookies get at least one point on the board before the match is so Glorious Crown was like really close. Well, I mean, we are going down the route of doing the same thing that we did earlier where we eliminated DT picks. Now it's time to eliminate all the aim picks possible. But we've <laughs> only got two maps left, so. I'm not quite sure how much aim is left. One of them was banned, which was the slider aim. So hopefully with some luck if we get rid of one more one more aim map. We might see the match start up again, like it did before on Glorious Crown. Hopefully next map we can get one of the flowy hiddens. That would be good, yeah. I think it would be really fun to see them both play Ultramarine, actually. actually. I think it would be a good walk. Oh, nice good piece. That as well. Well, someone's bound to say it eventually, but uh, Vax, uh, on the SS right now. Yeah, I try not to talk about that. Usually <laughs> it doesn't end well. 
<laughs> well, we'll see if it ends well now. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> oh. I was just waiting for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, no SS, but at least it's not our fault, alright? Yeah. That. Just one 100. I wonder if she is just trying to go for 69 uh, on all these maps now. What do you all think about that? What was that? What was the Zach on the first 2D2s? It was lower, right? I think, yeah, I think it was way lower, but maybe just now he is. Either you're like really good at reading his intentions, or either that's just a really funny coincidence, but. Yeah. Back still holding on to 1 100. Has it, he's FC'd every map except one, right? Like, huh? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, this is, um, this is pretty insane. Honestly, even if Kikizi was in a good physical condition to play right now might not even have a different score than this yeah Vax is just kind of popping off actually ridiculous how good he is on this pool He tanked a little too low. Uh, no nice. No nice for this map. But Vaxi with the 1-100 one <laughs> full combo. And uh, Kukizi gets the, that's okay, try to play more hard. Okay, rank. You forgot the colon three. But that's oh, me. yes. I wasn't sure how to pronounce that. Sorry. <laughs> Nine? Oh, we're going to Hard Rock again. Oh, Adama. Nine. No, not another aim. The roll it's, strategy it's, it, it's, failing. It's, it's, yeah, this is not this is not the strat. This is not the plan. This is not going to be a good one for his hand, unfortunately. Yeah, this one is extremely snappy, uh, as long as well as the last two. So. The amount of control required as well for this map is just like having to aim plus following all the sliders. It's going to be a tough time. But can we see Vax AFC 5 out of 6 maps? Is it going to happen? On this kind of pool? Like, already seeing 4 FCs is just insane as it is. Kind of sad that we didn't see any hiddens. Honestly, I think it would have been good. But no, no, not no. over yet. K K yep, Kikizu's going to win this, and then we're going to see all the hiddens back to back. Yep, perfect. Yep, even Vaxai will pick a hidden. <laughs> and then we'll see the reverse sweep. All right, well, looks like that <laughs> might not be happening. Definitely not. Hey, no. Why do you have to crush my dreams, man? I mean, don't blame me. Blame Vaxi for FCing everything. True. 
But yeah, honestly, I do hope that Kukizu can get some some like rest or do something about this hand situation, preferably before his next match. I'm actually surprised that he's continued through this and soldiered on. Kukizu is, is at least doing a very good job at showing us what it's like when you're against Vax. It's what, it's what it usually looks like. At least that's how it feels. Like, even if his hand was in good condition, I don't even know if this match would have turned out differently, honestly. Because of how well Vax is playing. Well, at least we got to see one good map. And it was damn good. Yeah, Glorious Crown was actually insane. Like, watching the accuracies flicker back and forth. If Cookiezy wasn't in the position that he was in right now, I'm sure a lot of other maps would have definitely been very much the same, but... Yeah. On another note though, Vaxe is, again, going crazy. This map is so hard- oh! oh. As I say that. Wait, he, he can miss? miss? Split. He can miss? Yeah, he can <laughs> miss. That's crazy. It actually happens occasionally, but... That is going to be 4 out of 6 maps fc in this match for Vaxe on a semi-finals pool. Pretty much all of these maps are around 7 stars, if not more. Which I'd say is... Just insane, like a stellar performance. Insane, stellar, whatever you want to call it, you name it. Yeah, honestly, wondering if Wolf or Digital Hypno can put up with this performance next week. As Vaxay will move on to the winner's finals of Game Osu. Taking yeah. a 6 0. Quite convincingly, to say the least. So I believe that's uh, top three secured for him, right? Indeed. And I think uh, regardless of who he would have been against this match, I think he showed us why he definitely deserves that top three fucking outstanding performance out of him. But uh, that will be it for this match. So next up in uh, seven hours? 12 UTC tomorrow we'll be seeing Spare versus Flying Tuna. How do you guys feel about that one? That is a very interesting match. Uh, Spare, really good speed player, and honestly just very well rounded along with Tuna. He's known for some crazy aim and actually tech ability, in my opinion. So, could go either way. Yeah, we've seen Tuna really step up as well recently. Like, I've, his performances in the past few matches have just been insane, so... I'm really keen to see what he's got to offer against Spare. Spare obviously has been someone that's been playing tournaments for a long time now. And he is just overall consistent, as you mentioned. Definitely very strong on double time, both of those players. So, we're going to see a lot of good matchups on that mod in particular. Yeah, and uh, also on the uh, lowers bracket, there is Red Pixel versus Airu. There's also, I think, equally as hype in my opinion. Both kind of, uh, not necessarily 
sleeper players, but I think a lot of the like common, like the greater community doesn't know how much of, how, like they're so good now. Both of those players are so insanely good at this game. So I, I don't know how that match is a lowers bracket match to be honest, but we'll be seeing that. And as well, of course, the last remaining match in the winner's bracket, which is Wolf versus Digital Cape no. Yeah, that, either one of those. Whoever wins that will face Vaxe later on as well. So that's their next opponent to look forward to. I'm sure they are very much looking forward to it. And so with that concludes this stream. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.